All right, folks. So in the last video, we created a dashboard, and then we created four pages: uh, main dashboard, city-wise analysis, the details drill through, and cost-profit analysis. In this video, uh, we are going to help you to publish this to a Power BI service, which is looking like this. Please note that in order to register for this service, uh, I'll show you how to register it here. So go to powerbi.com. So powerbi.com, just type powerbi.com. And then uh, click on sign up free. Please note that on the left hand side bottom, it says Power BI Cloud Service and say try free. Uh, for this one, you would need a corporate account or a student account to sign up. Any accounts like Gmail or uh, Outlook, Yahoo, Rediff will not work. So you need an account which is your corporate account and then it is going to help you sign up on powerbi.com. It's taking some time to connect to Microsoft uh, website. But again, if you click on this try for free sign up as you would normally do. It is going to send you an email for verification. Once you do verification, you will have this up and running and you will have an account like this already created. Now, in this video, I'm not gonna walk you through everything here. I'm gonna tell you that in the next video. But for now, I will have this dashboard and publish it onto the cloud service. In order to do that, go to sign in and enter your user ID and password. So I have uh, a user ID and password here, uh, which I'm gonna sign in. All right, so I signed in and you can see that I have the, the account which was created and this is connected. I'll click on publish and it says that you want to save yes I want to save this and then I'm publishing this to my workspace so please note that while publishing it is going to ask you a workspace which is my workspace you can create an account for our workspace I'm going to show you later but for now I'm going to put it on a default workspace here and say select. As soon as you select, you, it says that it is uh, publishing the Power BI dashboard using Soother template. It is publishing it onto the Power BI. And it is successful. You can click on open or you can go here, just refresh it once. And then you would see the same report available to you in the report section. So if you published it, those initial links would be gone you go to reports and you would see your dashboard here in the workbook section you will not have anything but in data set you would see the data set so if you open the reports you would see that there is an option to edit but this report is now available for you to take a look at and then this you can do anything and everything what you did that so right click here say details or city wise analysis you know the the drill throughs and everything would work as would work in the desktop and this is the concept of how you can enable a desktop on a power bi report service now let me quickly walk you through the different aspects and different types of Power BI service and then I'm going to show you how to create a very nice neat looking high level dashboard on the Power BI service itself. In one of the videos earlier in the architecture videos, I think video number two, we discussed about the Power BI implementation scenarios. You will have a Power BI free license and then I think the limit is now up to 2 GB, not the 1 GB. This was an old presentation. So you have Power BI free version. So whenever you sign up, 
with your corporate account or a student account, you will you are going to get a Power BI free version. The Power BI Pro is $9.99 per user per month for a cloud service which includes sharing of the dashboards as well as data refresh capabilities up to eight times per day. And then the premium is like creating your own node and this is normally used for enterprise which would need higher data limits. So I'm not gonna talk about premium, but in this set of videos, I'm gonna talk about the pro and the free version. The version right now you are able to see is a free version coming back here. So this is the free version, how do you know? Go to workspace and as soon as you say create app workspace, it says either upgrade or try, try pro for free. So in the few videos from now on, we're gonna talk about the free version and then I'll upgrade this to, for a 60 day trial in which I'm gonna show you how to automatically refresh the data on Power BI, how to work on Power BI and how to enable your users from a security standpoint. Now, quickly creating a dashboard on the, on the Power BI itself. So go to my workspace and then in the dashboards, click on create dashboards. Here you would say uh, my first dashboard and then click on create. As soon as you do that, you would see a blank canvas and then you can say add tile. You can add a web content, that means Google or any other site or a, or a RSS feed. You can add an image, you can also add a video and then you can add a text box. But for now, I'm not selecting any of these, but just selecting the text box. So I'm gonna say here, just a text box. And again, sorry. So text box next. And then I'm gonna put a title here. I'm gonna say this is my first dashboard and I say apply and then I can I can change it or do whatever now what I can do is I can go back to my report remember we had report so I go back to my report and I feel that I can have this as my part of my dashboard so I can click on here and I click on this piece, uh, this pin, so pin visual, and it's gonna say, where do you wanna pin it? I'm gonna say pin it to my first dashboard or create a new dashboard. So pin meaning this would be available in the dashboard. Next, I want to go to Citywise Analysis and I want to pin this sales by product Again, pin my first dashboard. And finally, in the cost profit analysis, I want to pin this visual. So pin, so you can see that from various sheets, I pulled in one visual and I go to the dashboard here. So my workspace, my first dashboard, and you can see that these visuals are available. I can get rid of this text box I don't need. And then I can move this around. Now the good thing is, I can click on, and these are both sales, so I don't need it. I can get rid of a tile. Now I click on this and I go back to the report. See how flexible it is as compared to what you are able to see. And I want to pin this now. So I can pin the visual. So it's all about how you can go to multiple dashboards, multiple report pages and pick those insights and put it on, the, on this dashboard. Now, remember ask a question functionality which I showed you in my previous videos. You can ask a question about data here as well. So I'm gonna say, show me 
again show me is not a keyword show me gross profit gross profit by city so you can see by city wise it shows me gross profit I want to keep this visual I'm gonna use this pin visual here say my first dashboard pin it go back to the dashboard and you would see that visual appearing so these are some styles based dashboard which you will be able to create and when you click on any of the tiles it will take you to the report if you have this style from the report or if you have created using questions it won't take you anywhere it will just take you to the place where you created this question so this is a very sleek method of creating a dashboard and then in the next videos we are going to talk about data sets how to manage data sets rename data sets and stuff like that thank you for watching